Now, what is that concept of conjugate foci? So I know that. So let's say this is the object which is placed at the distance of u1 and you will get the image on the screen which is at the distance of v1. Now there is a particular position of the lens. If I change the position of lens again for a particular position I will get exactly the same you can say that the image of the same intensity you will get a very good formation of image for a different position of that lens also. Yeah. So that means the same thing, the position of image and object are interchangeable. So let's say if the object initially it is at u1, in the next case, you have to just change the position of lens and now you can make this one. So this u2 now you can make which is equivalent to your u1 and this v1. Yeah. So this v1 is nothing but in the second case, you can say that it is a u2. So these distances are interchangeable. You can interchange that distance and for that particular case still also you will get a very good combination of that your image over there. So that is what we will call it as a concept of conjugate foci. So the position of your obviously the object and image that you can interchange that is fine. But at the same time there are different positions of the lenses for which you will get still a good resolution of image. So that is what we will call it as a concept of conjugate foci over here. Now we will see the combination of thin lenses in contact. What will happen if the thin lenses they are in the contact over here. So how exactly that we will do. Yeah. So let's say these are the combination of thin lenses which are in the contact. So I just consider this two lenses which are in contact with each other. So obviously I know that. So for the first lens, so if I consider the formula, so one by F1, obviously we know that. So which is one by V minus one by U. Okay. That is in general formula that I know for the first case. So in general, I know one by F is equals to one by V minus one by U. So mainly we are going to see this one that is a thin lenses in contact. So this one, one by F1 is equals to one by Again, that is a let's say v dash and minus one upon v. So this is your obviously one of the lens. Yeah. And you will get the image somewhere over here. Now, when I just put another lens, yeah, exactly in contact with each of this one. So the image will get shifted. The image will get shifted now from i dash to i. Yeah. And again, it is at a particular distance. Let's say it is v. Yeah. So the distance also will get change. So what you can write it down one by F2 is equals to again final image one by V minus one upon V dash. So this is first equation. This is second equation. Just now add these two equations. So what you will get one by F1 plus one by F2. Yeah. So further you can say that. So definitely that is a one by V minus one by U. And that is let's say if I say that equation one and three. If you compare this two, so you will get one by F is equals to one by F1 plus one by F2. Likewise, you can just connect those n number of lenses. So those thin lenses in contact, you will get this is the resultant focal length for this particular case. So that is what the concept of your thin lenses which are in contact. The same the lens displacement method. I told you that. So there are different positions at which still you will get the good resolution for that image.